Does anybody know where I can buy drugs? <laughs> Looking for some drugs. Yeah, that's right. Another episode of Rat Talk is back. Yeah, back yeah. finally after uh, I had a, like a what a two week hiatus. Sorry, everybody, but Ooh. hey, man, you know what I was doing though? I was preparing for what you ask. Preparation H for. <laughs> 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 I, there was a lot of that. There's I'm pretty sure in the crowd. Yeah, I pre- I'm, pre- I'm pretty sure. As a matter, of, no, I think it was Preparation H because. <laughs> We were at Ozfest meets Notfest this past weekend. And we were raped. <laughs> <laughs> One of us was. Well, I yeah, mean, I was. <laughs> some more than others. Yeah. <laughs> some more than others. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, dude, we fucking spent the whole weekend at uh, in San Bernardino at Ozfest meets Notfest, and uh, with me are a couple people that uh, had that experience. Uh, everybody knows the comedian Ryan D that listens. <laughs> <laughs> that listens. Everybody knows you, <laughs> the comedian, <laughs> the comedian guy. And then we have our uh, significant others with us. Uh, Amanda yeah. and Vicky are here. Hey, girlfriend episode, Girl. guys. <laughs> <laughs> Special it's, Valentine's Day it's episode. Couples, <laughs> it's a couples episode today. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Rat Talk. And um, today we have our girlfriends. This entire episode will be about butterflies and rainbows. <laughs> today we'll be painting some rainbows. <laughs> Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck that. We're talking about not best. Yeah. Metal and romance. old people. <laughs> yeah, Fuckin the real romance. romance. Yeah, this is where the real romance happens on in a fucking mosh pit around fires of plastic. And and nothing but dudes. <laughs> <laughs> nothing but dudes. Uh, no, but I mean, Knotfest is a fucking great experience. I've been going well, to this Knotfest. year. This year was Ozfest meets Knotfest. I know it was. This was an added added bonus to it. We did notice that it was like night and day, the two different things, oh, though. Like, oh like, yeah, like Ozfest was like kind of filled with a bunch of older people, older metalheads like, and everything. But, but like, like, just like not even into it anymore. Just like, like I have to watch <laughs> Sabbath before before I die. Yeah. Like I don't even like before Ozzy dies before, Ozzy, before they all die. It was yeah. like something they had. It was, seemed like an errand for all of them. But then like not fest the next day. Everybody was just, just like, like just oh going man, fucking yeah, crazy. Going fucking nuts, dude. Ah man, that's it was a more brutal lineup. I mean, mm. leading up to not a Slipknot, it was. A mono, a Marth, Marth uh, Slayer. Slayer, Anthrax, Anthrax yeah. Overkill was there, Suicide Silence, Carnifex even played. Yeah, yeah. And then, those are, I mean, those were the main bands well, that I was excited and then for. Slipknot. I know, I missed, I missed all the second stage bands on the first. Yeah, the, I, I would have loved to have seen Overkill, but I missed them too. Yeah, uh, me too. Yeah, I wanted Sammy to come in and talk about that because he'd seen them. He went inside to go see Overkill. Uh huh. <laughs> and you said that they ended with Elimination. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I we didn't get to see Suicidal while you guys were watching Me Municipal Waste. Waste, though. Yeah, that was Ozfest. Ozfest right. was uh, Municipal Waste, Suicidal, oh, uh, Devil right? Driver, Huntress played, uh, Hate Breed. Hate can't forget, yeah, hate can't breed. forget Hate Breed. Damn, you guys got um, to, you guys got to watch Hate Breed too. Yeah, we got to watch Hate Breed, dude. Damn, Justin, man. Now is the time for me to rise. <laughs> Uh, from my face. <laughs> and then uh who uh, fuck who was main stage again? Uh on uh, that day? Yeah. Opeth, Opeth, which was Opeth, Megadeth. Was boring. Opeth and is then boring. The, and then the fucking great yeah. Black Sabbath. Yeah. That was amazing. I can't I can't get over that. that was Dude, I don't yeah. even remember Disturbed. I don't know why. <laughs> Dude, we we were talking, remember? <laughs> oh yeah, we yeah. were talking yeah. the whole time. Because yeah. we, we didn't give a fuck time. about Disturbed. Yeah. Yeah, Amanda was excited to see yeah, that. Yeah. I was excited for one song just because I've never actually picked at a metal show. For a man of <laughs> what do you mean? You jumped in the municipal was waste pit with me? No, no it was, it, was uh, it was it was get down, get down with the sickness. 
Ooh, ah. Yeah. I could handle a disturbed pit. I wasn't going to fuck around with a slayer pit. So I thought, you know, start small. Disturbed. I could Don't with the yeah. sickness, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get stupefied? You're not down, <laughs> fool, with the sickness. <laughs> 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 fool, you're not down <laughs> with the sickness, eh? Yeah, that's that, that. That was what we were doing during the stir pretty much right. the entire time, just making fun of mm. it. I did see a doctor, uh, a man with a doctor and a patient. They're like, we don't know what's wrong with her. It's because she's down with the sickness. <laughs> <laughs> Someone waited their whole lives yeah. to tell that joke. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that didn't occur to me this whole fucking weekend. Damn it! I think I think <laughs> I fell too hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> couldn't even think of the right joke. <laughs> <laughs> but, all right. but I'm saying, all right, for so just those whole experience period. Because uh, me, I've been to Not Fest. Because the only reason why it was Oz Fest meets Not Fest this time is because this is uh, Black Sabbath's last tour and everything. Ozzy's not going to be around anymore, mm-hmm. and so. Well, Ozzy, uh, I'm sure Ozzy will be around. But still. the thing was too is that because I went to the last two Not Fest, which is the the weekend f- metal festival that uh, has been happening in California for the last three years. I well, I went to the first one, the second one, and then this time uh, before the before the lineup was even announced, they posted everywhere like, "Oh, Ozzy Osbourne and Corey Taylor coming out," and with the special announcement, I fucking called it. I was like, "Dude, if I, I bet you that they're gonna morph, like Black Sabbath is probably gonna play." Right, and they came out and they fucking Black Sabbath said that they're gonna do Ozfest meets Not Fest, That's and so awesome. yeah, so that fucking pumped me up. I was immediately fucking jazzed. And then as the bands got announced for the lineup, uh, when it first came out, it was very exciting. Children of Bodom was part of the, the lineup, but they uh, they unfortunately dropped out. Oh, they did. That's what I thought. Yeah, they they were gonna play. Bodom was playing, and I was like. Because mm-hmm. then I, I we were looking at all the we well, were looking at the schedule. I think yeah, I think I told you that Bodum was playing. You were like, "Fuck, I gotta go." Then right, I love Bodum. Yeah, they uh, they they ended that's up the dropping only, out. That's the only band that I uh, that I ever went into Mayhem Fest early for. Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everything else, every, every like, other year, <laughs> every other year, I just stayed in the parking lot until <clears throat> main stage. Was I at that Mayhem when you went in early? I think so. Maybe. I think, but it was when I went in with Roberto because we both wanted to see Bodum. Yeah. Okay. I do remember that mayhem. Yeah. Well, not really, but I do remember. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being there. Well, I was talking about this on <coughs> uh, on on Hubcast, which, which w- I was saying that it it was kind of cool for that to happen because there, ha- you know, not fest is really. Turn- it's it, it's really turned. Yeah, it's it's, it's turned re- it's turned it's it into this like generation. A, it's you turned know? it into a, a much bigger thing than you know, like Mayhem Fest was or mm. like for whatever reason they did it right, did a two day event and did the camping thing. Yeah. You which know, is like, fucking awesome. I always recommend camping. But uh well, yeah, we we, <laughs> we thought about it and by the time we thought too long and then it was sold out. So Yeah. Uh, uh, everyone was just like, fuck it. Yeah. You gotta be more metal than that, bro. <laughs> well I wanted to, I didn't want to camp. I was like, fuck it, we'll just get a motel down the street. There's no down the street and there's no motel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, it so was anyway, like a, anyway. So th- no, it's just kind of cool to like think about you know we like before it was like Ozfest was like the big summer metal festival, yeah, right? Ozfest, and that went exactly. on for like five six years, mm-hmm. and then they stopped doing that. Then it was Mayhem, Rockstar Energy's Mayhem Festival, and then I mean, and then the big concerts here and there, like with Iron Maiden, Iron and Maiden, or, or and Sabbath, uh, Motorhead, yeah, or whatever, Motorhead. and uh, Heaven and Hell, Heaven and Hell, mm-hmm. yeah, and. Priest played there a lot, actually. Right, yeah. and they had those big concerts. But besides that, you know, then you not, didn't really then have. We never had the two day event. Yeah, where it was like, just like a like a Coachella type thing with for heavy metal. I mean, this is like mm-hmm. Not Fest is probably the biggest heavy metal festival that's ever been in California. Yeah, and they've actually done it in Iowa too for years before that. And right, and and the the first year that they brought it here to California, me and my friends immediately jumped on it. We have the original Not Ten, you know. Uh, 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 who I was going through it was it was me uh, Art Artie Farty the original not ten yeah that's what we call ourselves it's me Artie Farty Jeff Nikki Jesse uh, Michael Vicky Edson Stephen and fuck I did this again Ivan Ivan yes fuck I couldn't I, I forgot about Ivan but yeah we're the not ten dude that's that's what we called ourselves and that's what we <laughs> called ourselves the next year when we right. came back yeah right. Yeah, we came back the second year, which was uh, e- it was an even better year. But we, I fucked up and got way too drunk throughout the day. Took too many naps, and I missed. <laughs> <laughs> you missed, you missed that was your first year, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
And yeah, we missed. I was so mad at you. Wait, why did you wait for? Why did you just go? Because I would have left his ass at the fucking tent. Because he said he'd wake me up. We're like, okay, we're gonna take a nap. Oh, so you fell asleep too? We both fell asleep. We both fell asleep. Why were you mad at him? Because he was supposed to wake me up. I was dealt the responsibility of uh, staying up, and (laughs) because she fell asleep, and I kept drinking. So I said, wake me up. Yeah, and I kept drinking, and I was like, yeah, dude, I'm just going to keep partying. And I fucked up. I yeah. fell asleep. Oh, man. <laughs> but, I mean, year, year one was unforgettable. Second year, that was probably the biggest so we've ever had it. it for three, man. So yeah, that means the last Mayhem Fest was was when, was 2013? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> man, that was three years ago. That was the one that... That, uh, that was the one Slayer. Motorhead was on. Yeah, Motorhead and Slayer. And went, Slipknot, Slayer? Slipknot headlined that one. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah, they did. That, that was, was when no. that was when I saw Slipknot and I was like, dude, like fucking Slipknot is something else. Like I, I was so excited. Wait, no, no, no. I think that was the year before, because the year that Slipknot headlined was the year that I got in my accident. It was the year I was still recovering. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because I had. Then who was the headliner? I can't after fucking that. remember. All right. I can't remember because I remember like I anyway. I remember not wanting to get into the pit. And yeah. Then because into of the my pit. neck, and then I got in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> and I just I surrounded myself with with homies. That's what I did. I was like, you guys got to protect me, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Any wrong move, and I'm yeah, done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> die if I fall. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't pit then. I, Fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Motorhead, dude. <laughs> it was it was overkill. Yeah. I knew it was gonna be the encore. I was with Jim and and, uh, and Nigwin, and I was Wait, like, overkill. Oh, I mean, overkill. Oh, yeah, the encore, yeah, yeah. the song. Encore, yeah. I was like, I knew that it's always their yeah, encore. I'm like, yeah. fuck, it's going to be overkill. And I was like, God, oh, damn yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to go. But yeah. uh, but no, that was uh, Slipknot was that Mayhem uh, when I first saw him. Was that and that, that was, was the year that you were you were you were all you hung over from the night before and we, yeah. had, we had to drag you <laughs> oh, out of bed? Yeah, yeah, no, dude. <laughs> Me and I Julian are all no, partying no, in the no, parking no, no, lot. No, no, He's no, like no. all heat exhausted and fucking no. I Wait, that. yeah, and hung over, and you sat in the car with a bandana. No, over that your was face. The, no, that wasn't Slipknot though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe so. Maybe it was the year before. That's why I said the year before that was the one where I was still recovering from my accident. That but was, yeah, but that, no, that was the one also where I stood up all night. I stood up all right. night the night before. Right. Fucking partied, and then Angel was passed out. Was passed out in Tyler's car, and Jim started. Oh, punching Jim started him. beating him up. Yeah. yeah, and he started crying, <laughs> and he went home. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We all met up on the front yard. And like, yeah. And then, yeah. And Jim was like, wake yeah, up, bitch. He's all, wake up, bitch. And he started, he punching, started him. punching up. And he started crying and went home. <laughs> he walked up. But it was scary, though, because he just got up and left. And we we're like, dude, is he seriously living? Like, he bought his ticket and everything. Yeah. And we followed him. And he walked across Lower Zusa in the middle of the day, like in the morning when it's when it's heavy traffic, <laughs> right. didn't look both ways or anything, just fucking walked into traffic, and we are like, dude, he's about to fucking die right now. Yeah. Like, we wanted to go get him, but if we would have stepped any further, we would have died. We would have got hit. Oh, well. <laughs> then he called. But, didn't he call one of you guys, like, after the show? Yeah, he called after the <laughs> show and was like, dude, where'd you guys go? <laughs> we fucking went to me. <laughs> Home. That's right, because we went to meet up with you guys, and all you guys had already been drinking all night. Yeah, like that. That's right. And I slept on the I slept on the way there. I slept a little when we got there, and then I just woke up and f- we fucking kept going. I, I think we're mixing up the two years because I know I know that the year when we went in a really big group was when Tyler's car, truck broke down. That was that year. No, because there was another time that me, you, and Julian went early, and then you no. Chris got Chris got pulled over and his his license was suspended, and so he got a ticket and couldn't drive over there. So he had to get picked oh, up. Oh, that's why we we left everybody else. Yeah. So uh, that's right. That's yeah. why everybody else came that way yeah. later. Yeah, and then that's when I had fucking heat exhaustion and everything. Yeah, that's right. But no, okay, that that right, year, but the year that I'm talking about, yeah, Kyle, Ty, Kyler's uh, Tyler's Kyler. <laughs> Tyler's truck broke down. I remember that one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was good times. Good times. That was just mayhem. <laughs> now fucking not fest. You could yeah. you could imagine how much worse that is because we, me and Amanda were camping, mm-hmm. and we got we bought her we had to bring an ice chest, a box of uh, dry foods and everything, um, our sleeping bags, pop up, all all water, a pack of waters, a gallon, a whole bunch of shit, 
we got ready bright and early. We were we were there at two thirty when yeah, we were supposed to be. Yeah, we ready at two. <laughs> we didn't leave until fucking six o'clock. Oh Again. my god, really? Yeah. I said this from the beginning. We need to tell our friends to be ready by like nine a.m. That way they'll be ready by two. No. no. Who? Wait. Okay. Who's well, I, I mean. There was actually good reason this year because uh, Michael had to work and he was off at two thirty and everything. Like we could tell people nine, but right. the, the reality of it was that we just couldn't. No, I know. I mean, so but get if that day off. <laughs> <laughs> if everyone else would have been ready yeah. by two, we could have left at least by like three. Because if he worked until two, it was so funny too. Because when we got there, like we got there and uh, we walked into the back and we're like, hey, hey, like is anybody here? And they're like, no. We're like, all right, so let's go get some food. And while we left, like another group showed up and Not said, where? "Hey, where did you go? Uh, my our, our friend Michael's house." Oh, okay. Yeah, we met up there, and uh, yeah, so nobody was there, so we left and got food. And then someone else showed up while we were getting food. They're like, "Hey, is somebody here?" No. All right, so they left. So like four <laughs> groups of people showed up, and <laughs> nobody was there because <laughs> everybody was getting food. <laughs> and then everybody came back. It was probably about uh, three o'clock, four, yeah. you know, around yeah. there. <laughs> and then we were like, all right, now let's start loading everything up. Because so what time? W- this was like the pre... This was Friday. Yeah, this mm-hmm. was Friday. So we left by 6, but when we got there, um, we were expecting heavy, fucking heavy security because they uh, originally started at 6 to let cars in. 6 in the morning? 6, six at night. night. Oh. 6 to midnight was the original oh, check-in yeah, time. That's, right. <laughs> that's a lot of fucking cars to do in yeah. a short period of time. And, and so uh, this year, they on the last minute, they changed it to 2, 2 to midnight. Oh, wow. Yeah, so there was a, you know, there was a four-hour gap. So when we got there, we were expecting them, you know, to, to be heavy security. Like, that's the reason why they added the, the four hours so that they can thoroughly check cars. Because right. you weren't supposed to, you weren't allowed to bring in knives, bottles, uh, what the fuck? Drugs. Not even in the camping area? Yeah, not right. even in the camping area. That's ridiculous. Uh, no wood or any of any sort. You know, like you no couldn't drugs? burn anything. What no is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no drugs. Wait, so how would <laughs> get this? Before you walk drive in there, there's an amnesty box. There's a box in there that says that will be that says like uh, turn in all illegal paraphernalia, and you know, like that's your last that's your last warning, pretty much. <laughs> to <laughs> drop it in a box? Yeah. How many people tried to bust that thing open? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that you say that because this year we tried to do that. <laughs> we looked inside and, he, and my fr- and uh, Jesse and Nikki looked inside and they're like, dude, there's capsules in here. There's a whole oh, bunch of capsules. Man. So, oh, oh man, man. Yeah, I'm sure like if we would have made off with that, we totally would have had a whole lot. Because get this, when we got <laughs> to the front, fun. yeah, we got to the front and they, uh, we saw that they were checking them and everything, but it wasn't, it wasn't uh, the sheriff as it usually was the past two years. It wasn't the sheriff; it was the staff. So we were That's like, weird. oh, they were like, oh, they're probably just like, you know, the warning, and then they're the police with the dogs and everything because they said that they had dogs and and shit. And so, so we check th- your cars, yeah. So we uh, just said all that shit. Exactly. No, because we yeah, we went up there and they're like, oh, yeah, you know, if you have uh, if you have bottles, pour them into a plastic container now. So like all of our liquor and everything, we just had to like dump out a, you know, sacrifice a gallon of water and pour it in there. I mean, we didn't (laughs) we didn't do that because we actually hit our shit and we're smart about it. Yeah. (laughs) But uh, uh, yeah, other people would just we saw other people like pouring their shit and and, uh, containers. That's what I'm saying. Like they can't. There's no way they can thoroughly check your. I mean, because they're not legally bound to check your car. They just feel around. No, exactly. That's what because because of that reasoning, we were like, okay, maybe when we go further, the share. Yeah, the share glove box and put some liquor bottles in that. (laughs) I mean, you can fit. No, they checked the glove box. They do? Yeah, they did check the glove box. Huh. You just have yeah. to put it like in your duffel bag or in something. Or mm-hmm. in your butt. <laughs> or in your butt. Yeah. Well, um, Weird. so we got through the first checkpoint, and then we get to the front, and all the cops are doing is taking a picture of your driver's license and your and license your plate. plates. Yeah. It's just in case you fuck up. Yeah, exactly. And then that's it. Hmm. That is it. They And we were just like, dude, we could have gotten way more shit in. Like, we brought less shit the last two years than this year. Right, right. But uh, no, the other way around. We brought less shit right. this less year than the last year. two last years. Year. Yeah. Did they find anything? And make you throw it out last no. couple years? Oh no, never. Because we know how there's, to hide our shit. And there's yeah, always, exactly. There's always, where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but uh, we yeah we got in there like it was like no fucking problem. So I'm thinking like shit. I didn't even buy guys. I don't really smoke that much anyway. 
but I still wanted to bring some weed. And they, I heard that they added that four hours, you know, to check people. And I was like, nah, it's probably not even worth it. So I'll just I'll just do without. Actually, you know what I just thought of? I was, I'm just like the whole time you're talking about this. I'm like, where can I stow shit in my car? Uh, <laughs> my spare tire <laughs> spot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just yeah, underneath Under- the uh, underneath the exactly. uh, the trunk. Yeah, I'd be. I mean, you'd probably be a sacrifice. You take your spare tire out. You could stow all kinds of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit of a risk, but hey. Yeah, it's exactly. Worth it. I mean, there, yeah, there there was ways, but yeah, we we just were we were uh, intimidated. We were just like, no, we don't want to risk it. Now that we have, if we ever do that, that's what we're doing. Mm-hmm. So many places like. Pillows, shoes. Actually, well, Miss well, over here wanted to stick <laughs> shit in her vagina. She was like, "Yeah, just <laughs> put it in some, uh, put it in like plastic wrap, and I'll put it on a tampon." And <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Christ. yeah, dude. So <laughs> there are other ways. You're, you're not going through TSA. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go through this machine over here. Why? <laughs> it's a new machine. Check hair. stuff way up your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> she, she really volunteered for that one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come to find out, we could have gotten away with it, but I was yeah. just I like, that. <laughs> well, I don't want some dog sniffing your vagina and shit. <laughs> That's so funny. No, so, yeah, we finally got in there, and, uh, I mean... Dude, there's nothing like the camping experience, you know. You get you get in, you immediately set your shit up. We got our tent up first we and had everything. To. I was telling you, you have to be the first yeah. one to set up your tent because that's how you guarantee you have enough room, you have your space, you just lay it all up because everyone else is fucking struggling because then they're trying to get the pop up and, uh, and then, then some people over. bring like tents bigger than they anticipated, exactly. so they have to tell people like, oh, you, like, you have to scoot your tent over before you set it up, or not right. even that, like just don't even set your tent up. You can just bunk with us, like you know, you know, we have to share tents pretty much. Right, exactly. right. So I told yeah, you we had to so, be yeah. the first people to set up our tent. Yeah, so we, we got out, set our shit up real quick, and uh, and then we uh, we got to see Armored Saint, dude. That was fucking Sweet. awesome. Yeah. Have you heard of Armored Saint? Have you listened to Armored Saint? They're really no. good. Yeah, they're like a, they're a pretty big stamp in 80s mm-hmm. heavy metal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they're not as popular as, say, Metallica or, or Motley Crue. Motley I mean, Crue. Yeah. Okay. They're good. But they act like they are, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, their ticket prices. Yeah. They, they, they sell are. $100 tickets for the whiskey. Yeah. Oh. And uh, and they don't are show they up to their it? fans. And they, they don't yeah. show up to a signing. Yeah. We'll get we'll get I'm into t- that right now. But uh, we, we saw Armored Saint, okay? Yeah. We saw Armored Saint. They put on a great fucking show. It was, a, it was an awesome time. Dude, we saw somebody pitting with no shoes. They were completely barefoot. Ugh, God. Yeah fucking gnarly and then there's this uh <laughs> i saw this big giant bald dude you know bearded bald dude and everything and he was fucking dominating in the pit and i was like yeah dude that guy's awesome uh two days later we see him <laughs> when Amar- he's when Amar- dead. no when you see him when <laughs> i see him when amar Marth is gonna play and he's got a fucking kilt on he's got a kilt on and he, you know he's, he's all sashed time? up and everything Su- shoes but uh come to find out later on he was in the pit and somebody knocked him down and he's got no underwear <laughs> he was butt naked under that kilt. That's awesome. Yeah, but but yeah, I saw him in the pit with no shoes. Why would you be? <laughs> well, why would so you wear underwear that? if you're not gonna wear shoes? <laughs> He's like, Come shoes on. or Come underwear on. today? <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, you know, uh, there's only two choices. <laughs> Life's all about sacrifice. <laughs> He's like, no underwear. These socks are gonna look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, he was fucking badass. These <laughs> shoes match my kilt, but the underwear don't. So. <laughs> and then, uh, so so we get back from Armored Saint, and uh, I thought, like, okay, you know, I was I was there for Armored Saint. It was pretty cool. I got pretty pumped up, and you know, it's time it's time for bed. I'll go to sleep, and I fucking didn't go to sleep till four o'clock in the goddamn of morning. Not, dude. Yeah. No way. Everybody's and all at the same out time, the first night. And then at the same time, because uh, our because mom loves Armored Saint, and so I was I was very excited to be there and to witness it and everything. I, I was really sad that she couldn't be there. Uh, she I I told her to camp with us. To be honest, I told her like you, you know just get your own campsite. Well, and then we'll your spot will be there. We won't bother you or anything. You'll right. be. <laughs> and uh, but unfortunately, she had to move. She couldn't make it. So I was yeah. very, but I was still like all you know. So I I. Uh, so it meant a lot to me to be there and to, and to see Armored Saint and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, we got back to the campsite, and <laughs> and I was just so jazzed. I 
I got excited and we didn't fucking fall asleep till four o'clock in the goddamn morning. <laughs> We're drinking for my mom right now. <laughs> I, I, she's I wasn't not here. <laughs> but she's here in spirit. Yeah. <laughs> exactly what he sounded like. <laughs> no, that's not what I did. This was for my mom. No, I called. I mean, I, I called her. Moving. Yeah, I, call, I called her, and I was like, you know, they were super awesome. I love you. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, I mean, it, it, that's why I, I think the next day was just a, it was such a, a you know Sucky. bummer for me. Yeah, yeah. Because the next day they they were supposed to do a signing and they did fucking didn't show up for their signing. Like, uh, well, this is actually how it happened because we went up to a tent and they were selling an Armored Saint vinyl, and I was like, dude, that would be so dope. I would get my, like I want to get that for mom. But right next to it was a poster that had Armored Saint signing at 4:30, and I was like, "Dude, that's even fucking better! I can get my I can get my mom's vinyl signed, and I can meet the band, you know, and like, and it, and it'll be it'll be great." So I went to the tent where they were supposed to be signing, and they told me I had to buy a, uh, They told me I had to buy a CD to get a wristband to meet the band. I bought my fucking CD, and I was like, "Cool, I have a CD, I have a vinyl, and then I'll give the vinyl to my mom." So I get the CD. I go back to where the vinyl is going to be when it comes closer to where Armored Saint is going to is going to do their signing. I go back to the tent, and the fucking vinyl is gone. Somebody fucking bought it. And, uh, and so wait, it, so she said not to buy it then? Well, she went. She said to go check out the tent first, and then well, I, I just chose not to buy it actually. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I was just like, yeah, well, but you figured they would sell it at the tent where you buy the shit to do the signing. Yeah, they did have vinyls. There. They did have vinyls there, but they didn't have Armored Saint vinyls. Mm. I, actually, that's what the lady had told me too. She told me that they had the same vinyl over yeah. by the tent, so yeah. that's why I was like, oh well, I'll just buy it over there then. So I went. Vinyl wasn't there. Got a CD. And went back and went back to get the vinyl. The vinyl was gone, so I was like, "Fuck it, I'll just have them sign the CD and I'll give it, I'll give that to mom." Mm. I fucking go to the signing. Uh, I I go I actually go a couple minutes early because Megadeth is doing a signing at the same uh, right before they are, and actually uh, when as as I'm waiting in line to meet Armored Saint, Dave Mustaine walks by and I give Dave Mustaine the horns like fucking Dave, and he looks at me and says, "What's up?" and I, that made me super happy. Yeah, that that awesome. made yeah that made me fucking happy because everybody's calling his name you know they're everybody's like Dave Dave and then me just being there all nonchalant like what's up dude I was like fucking you're Dave Mustaine <laughs> you're, just, you're just that dude you're that dude and he was like yeah I'm that dude what's <laughs> up <laughs> dude that's what it felt like that's cool and so I was you know that that brought me up I was like fuck yeah now like Dave Mustaine what's up what's up I'm gonna about to meet Armored Saint they're gonna sign a CD for my mom it's gonna be great four thirty comes around. They don't show up. Four thirty-five. They don't show up. I know, and it was like, dude. Ten, that- Fifteen minutes later, they're still not fucking there. I waited there for twenty minutes, and they didn't fucking show up. And I got super pissed, dude. I I got I got really sad and bummed. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, and I was like, dude, I got this fucking CD you now. This is <laughs> stupid, <laughs> stupid, stupid CD. CD. It's not even signed. I know. I was I was super bummed, and I. Hit him up on Twitter or social media and be like, hey. Complain. Yeah. Complain. Maybe like, you can wait. mail it to him. Mail it to him. Yeah. <laughs> right. Say, I want my money. <laughs> they'll send it back and it's broken in half. <laughs> Shut up, kid. Yeah, but I mean, if you With say With pictures like, hey, of middle fingers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you waited. I think they would respect. They might send you some free shit. You know, yeah. I yeah. I, I waited about 20 minutes. They never fucking showed up. 20 uh, minutes? <laughs> Fuck, I waited an hour and a half to meet... Uh, well, uh, I know because I because I bought. Different. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you fucking, that was at Comic Con, goddamn it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a, that was a guarantee. Well, yeah. I guess this was supposed to be a guarantee. Well, that's too, a, was, I mean, it's the same thing. I well, I purchased. I had to buy something, and then yeah. they gave me a ticket to go pick it up because he would sign it and then hand it to me. Yeah. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> <You okay? laughs> Let me get a swig. I'm thirsty. <laughs> Finished my beer. <laughs> Who's that one? Who's that? Well, I thought he gave it to you. Yeah. That's all warm. <laughs> Chug it. Anyway. Um, shit. Yeah, so they fucking didn't show up to the signing, so I'm all pissed. I'm fucking walking down. I, like, I'm on the verge of tears because, you know, it was supposed to be for mom, you know. I, I Actually, really, too, what got me about it was that I, I was, we were going to go see them. We were going to go pay. We were going to make the effort, just me and her, to go see Armored Saint because uh-huh. we were both fans. And uh, and you know she had just that that was when she had gotten the news that she was in remission that you know that she had beaten fucking she'd beaten be- breast cancer mm-hmm. she was getting better 
and we were going to go celebrate by going to see Armored Saint, you know, and the fact that she couldn't be there for with me to see Armored Saint, it, it was really heartbreaking that I I couldn't at least get her an autograph from him, you know, and I and I paid the money, I went, I spent the time to meet him, and it it, it sucked, you know, I was I was fucking pissed, I was I was heartbroken. I'm walking d- I'm walking down the pathway, and I'm like on the verge of tears, and I look over to my right. And goddamn, Ryan Waste is walking right next to me. The the good lead guitarist just, for nah, Municipal you're just Waste, running dude. Into everybody. Fuck <laughs> yeah, dude. I and I like I look at him, and immediately I just my my, my mood just shot straight up. I was like, w- like, hey man, like you guys fucking played an awesome set, dude. That rule, dude. They played. Yeah. They had an awesome set, man. Mm. They fucking played great songs. It was some of their greatest hits. We could hear and, them walking in, and, and the, we we watched like yeah. a glimpse of it at, on our way to suicidal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, the the what was really awesome too, uh, because a lot of people they would ask me like, oh, did they, did they play their song "Substitute Creature," which they I guess they don't play often because they uh, they they have uh, the guest one of their guests, uh, well, they're one of their old drummers from Waste Them All. I, uh, some, uh, he comes out with them and, and sings that song because that's his song that he sings. Oh, I see. Well, he had passed away that previous right, year. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, he had died. And so when right, they came out and he was like, yeah, this is for, you know, this is for our man. This is for our boy. Oh, that's so, awesome. So, and I was just like, no fucking way. So I told him, dude, I was just like, you guys had an awesome set. It was fucking beautiful. Like, they, and he was, re- I, I, it seemed like he was really jazzed that I gave him that compliment because they were, like you said, they were playing at the same time as, as, as Suicidal, Suicidal Tendencies, Tendencies yeah. who's a huge yeah. fucking band, who's right. a huge yeah. band, you know, the, they, they really are, uh, because nobody wants to compete with that. Yeah, that, that the, time the, slot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, and, and especially for them too, because they were really inspired by Suicidal, right, obviously. Right, right. And so uh, e- even Tony Waste, the singer during their set, like even said, you know, like it means a lot to us that you guys are here. And when I told Ryan Waste that, like that I was there and I listened to it and he was it, he really seemed like he was like, dude, like, thank you so much for for being there. And I was like, fuck, yeah, dude, like you guys, you guys are awesome. You guys are the next, you know, the next thing to, you know, to be that. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't want to draw too, too much attention to him. So I was like, you know, like, you know, have a fucking good weekend, blah, blah, blah. And I and, uh, and I kept walking, and then we uh, we reached this little path or this little patch of uh, of nobody around and everything. So I turned around, asked him if we can get a picture, and he fucking we got a picture. And uh, <laughs> and a cool thing about that picture, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it. I um, uh, Phil and uh, Nick Paulus, the the new guitarist that they have, mm-hmm. they both like the picture. Oh really? Yeah, they yeah. both yeah they That's both liked cool. it on Instagram. So I, that just made me real happy. You know, they're really cool. You know, cool guys with the fans and everything. That's awesome. Yeah, and that just brought my mood fucking straight up. Dude. Humble dudes. Yeah, Westman, Virginia. Yeah, where Guar's from. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. Like, it's it's legends. Yeah, legends in the making, uh, in in my opinion. <laughs> There's such a huge following that Suicidal has. Their their crowd wasn't Virginia, so. um, wasn't as it was almost as even as suicidal was. It was. We were walking down. Yeah. It was like almost the same. Really? Like, the yeah, it yeah, was dude. kind of the same. It was yeah, a big really crowd. Even. Really? Yeah. Crowd yeah. on both yeah. sides. Because people yeah. wanting people mm. probably like yeah. both we, bands. Well, we were, well, both, I, we were both. I mean, and, and I wanted to. Because I've never seen Municipal Waste, and I really wanted to see them. But they I didn't. Like, uh, well, they play a really it. good show. Yeah. Yeah. So, dude, so did suicidal. So did suicidal. Yeah, so did suicidal. I hadn't. That was the thing. I hadn't seen suicidal. But I had seen Municipal Waste a couple times, okay. so that's so, why yeah, I was like, yeah. ah, I got to see Suicidal. Yeah, see, I, yeah, I, well, I've seen both, you know, both bands. I've seen Municipal Waste more, but I'm, I'm just such a fan of, of them. You know, I have to, I right. had to be there, of course. But I hadn't seen Suicidal mm-hmm. before, so if yeah. I had seen Suicidal already, I would have probably been. At, at we well, got their Waste. autograph. Yeah. Yeah. What suicidal? Time? Suicidal? Yeah, yeah, we got suicidal's autograph. We were when? looking for free energy drinks. Yeah, we went to the monster truck. Yeah, Wait, we I didn't even know this. We part. went to the monster truck because we were like, oh, dude, they're giving away energy that's drinks. What they did cool. Last year they give away free energy drinks. Yeah, so we got in line and everything, and then uh, when we get to the front, I see that they're handing people posters, and I was like, oh, you know, free posters, cool. Free poster with your energy drink. So they hand us a poster and we walk up and it's fucking suicidal tendencies. They're sitting there. It's They're just signing. sitting there signing oh, things. So you just walked into wandered into a signing. Yeah, we yeah, wandered into awesome. a fucking that's signing. Fucking and so yeah, dude. And fucking so we got Dave Lombardo and Mike Muir dude, and <laughs> fucking Lombardo was killing it. Really? Yes. Oh man, dude. I, I wish I could have yeah. fu- well not Well and you know and I didn't even <laughs> think that would have been cool I to see. I but. didn't even think about it until you because I couldn't really see him. Yeah. You know, so 
I didn't even think about it until you told me that. You're like, you know, they're, they're playing with Lombardo again, or mm-hmm. like now, and, how, and it, I, I knew that, but I completely forgot. And mm-hmm. then so I was like, that makes so much sense because I kept thinking, like, man, the fucking drums sound way better than I remember these songs yeah. being. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, they've been playing with Lombardo. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. And, and it's so funny too because everyone signing with the with the silver marker and Lombardo was the only one signing with the black, black marker. One. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't see it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or he's just that metal. <laughs> or he's that metal. <laughs> he's just gotta be black yeah. all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but at some point when we were walking down, I could we had I had suicidal in one ear and the other one it was really cool walking right yeah. down the middle. Municipal in the, the other. Municipal in the other. Yeah. Well, we rented we rented a Nikki on our way in. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Did he tell you? No, but he re- like, I don't even think he remembers that. Probably not. Because <laughs> I had, we all had, our, we were, because that, that place is a fucking, is a dirt ring. So, yeah. oh, so we all had our bandanas on when we were walking through and then, and then I, Wearing and the somebody, most comfortable looking outfit. Well, somebody taps me on the wear. shoulder and I turn around. I'm like, who the fuck is this? It's a guy with a fisherman's hat, <laughs> sunglasses and a bandana. And I have no, I fuck, I have no idea who oh it is. God. And I'm like, who is this? And then he pulls his, he's like, it's me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh Nikki, what's God. up? And then I gave him a hug, and then uh, and he was like, you going to suicide? I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay. And then he like took <laughs> off running <laughs> towards <laughs> towards the, towards the pit. Yeah. 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 All right, it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, <Fuck> okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big gulps, huh? Big. <laughs> All right, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Suicidal, huh? Pretty much how it went. <laughs> All right, you guys going suicide? He's like. Me too. And then took <laughs> off running. <laughs> yeah, dude, but he was wearing like a fisherman's hat, like a I know, we fisherman, w- a white shirt. Dude, he snuck like dude, he snuck in a pipe. He snuck in a pipe, his weed and a lighter in that uh, hat. I don't want to know how he did that. Oh, in the yeah, hat? In the hat. <laughs> <laughs> They didn't even make him take the hat off. No, they did. Really? They, yeah, they did. All but his compartments the way, in yeah, it, huh? no, 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 no. The way he did it was that when he, uh, when they asked him to take off his hat, <gasps> oh. as he was turning his back, he just put it in front of his body and then like kept it, kept it tilted oh so God. that they wouldn't see it. Brilliant. Yeah. The way he clenched it. In yeah. The hand, way he, he clenched. Yeah. The, the way. He, yeah. Wow. <laughs> they did it. They're just yeah, like, right, yeah. yeah. Checked him oh, real that's quick. Smart. Yeah. yeah we're super smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so funny that you mentioned that hat, though. I know it's a dope hat. Well, I saw him and I was like, "God damn it, I fucked up and need a hat like that." Yeah, <laughs> a Dave hat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a day. we we sell hats like that at, at work, and uh, that's what I call them. Dave hats. Yeah, I call them Dave hats, and they're like, "Who's that?" I'm like, "My dad." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, but I mean, suicidal obviously played a great set. Did they? I don't know. Oh yeah, they yeah, were yeah, fucking fuck great, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so oh, yeah. good. And uh, I was waiting for. That. I wanted him to play "Bring Me Down" or "Can't You yeah, Can't Bring Me Down." Were. They open it. They open with I it. Knew fuck, it. So I yeah. Knew we, it. Dude, yeah, yeah they so always open with that, dude. Damn it! I, it's so you, funny babe. because uh, the first time, the very first time I saw "Suicidal," uh, I, I went. I went with a friend. I told. I told her. I was like, "Yo, like, if when when they play "You Can't Bring Me Down." I'm going into the pit, like I, I'm gone. Right, and they opened with, it. and they opened with it, and I was like, "Well, I'm gone," yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I was, and I was fucking gone, dude. And I was up in the front the whole time, all the way up until they tell people, like, "Oh, jump up on, you know, get everybody up on stage." Yeah, and I jumped up on stage for uh, for suicidal. It's awesome. Yeah, that was, oh man, that was one of one of my most memorable shows that uh, that I ever seen. But yeah, they opened up with it. That's what I fucking missed it. Yeah, that, that was that's probably why the missed only it. song we missed. Yeah. Because they started playing right when we walked in. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, definitely. It was the only song you missed yeah. then. Fucking weak. Yeah. They they always open up with "You Can't Bring Me Down." Well, we should uh, <laughs> we should start wrapping it up. But I'm gonna I'll just tell this story real quick. W- uh, my experience. <laughs> uh, yeah. I already told it a, a few times, but this is what happened to me on. Th- I mean, this whole time you guys had a, a fine and dandy time doing <laughs> doing camping and whatnot. <laughs> Luckily, my cousin let us stay. Uh, at her place because she lives like 20 minutes away f- not even that I mean probably like 10 minutes away without traffic mm. uh, and so she let us stay there so that's where we ended up lodging for the weekend but uh, Saturday we finally get in uh, and Vicky's friends are in the pit which is down you know down the cor- orchestra pit you need yeah. a couple hundred bucks for those tickets right <laughs> Couple, <laughs> need like a grand for two. And so, so her yeah. friends come out and like meet up with us finally at the lawn, and they're like, "Yo, let's go down to the pit." And I was like, "Right now, like we should wait till Megadeth," and 
because they were going to sneak us in. Yeah. So he's like, look, we loosened up this wristband. If we can slide it on, blah, blah, blah. We'll just go one at a time. No, actually, Brenda got an extra one. She ended up... Right, so there was... So actually, that made it even easier. (laughs) (laughs) And, you know, it was like, dude, so we have three wristbands, right? And there's only, what, at that... I think they fucked up by getting that extra guy, whoever that extra dude was. I don't know who he was. Because at one point, we all had wristbands. Yeah, we did. But they had an extra friend there that wanted to... Right, that wanted to come in, so then... So that was when the whole thing got fucked. <laughs> the whole scam. Because we went, you know, you know the way it works. It's a lot of people. It was a lot of people to it sneak was f- in. It was five of us in total, and only two of them had tickets. Oh, yeah. That's so <laughs> That's too, too many. You should only <laughs> sneak in one person. Right. <laughs> right. So, I mean, I thought, you know, the pair was fine. And then, uh, but I don't even know why we did. This is where we fucked up, too, was we noticed they were checking wristbands. And we could have walked closer to the stage to blend in with the crowd better, mm-hmm. but instead we stood there like a bunch yeah. of idiots. Yeah, and I, I'm th- like thinking back on it now. You hear like, that, Vicky? You're an idiot. No, I'm just kidding. I wasn't listening. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <Think back. laughs> She's never listening to me. Thinking back on it. Think uh, about Ryan's <laughs> talking. <laughs> oh, he's talking. Okay, he talks all day. Come on. <laughs> he talks for a living. I do talk for a living. <laughs> uh, so we're uh, yeah. So we're there. at... I realized they're checking wristbands. There's this fat fucking bitch, this fat uh, security bitch walking around with her headset, taking her job too seriously, right? And <laughs> and I'm like, damn, they're checking wristbands. And she looked at both of us, and so we just started hugging to, like, hide our ha- arms, you know? Hide two arms, one arm each. Yeah, so... <laughs> uh, she walked, a, so she walked past... a bandana on our Yeah, so she walked well. past a couple times, but, like, I feel like the bandana was a fucking giveaway, too, you know, because then she walked past me and then saw that I had a bandana on all of a sudden on my arm. Mm. And then she stops me, grabbed me by the shirt, by the way, first. I'm like, rude. <laughs> like, <laughs> Don't touch me. Yeah. She was like, boundaries. And she was like, where's your wristband? And I was like, oh, yeah, it's right here. And I started like digging around in my in my bandana. And then I just <laughs> <laughs> give her the finger and, and take gave off. her the finger and I took <laughs> off running. And uh I took off running, and I just, I thought, like, in my head, I don't even know why, like, I didn't even think, like, it just happened, you know, like, yeah, because <laughs> I thought for, for whatever reason, in my head, I was like, this is the worst thing that's gonna, like, I'm gonna get thrown out completely, so yeah. I may as well try to get away, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I so I started run, like pushing people through the cr- fucking crowd, pissing everybody off, like running <laughs> through the crowd. And Being a fucking dick. Ju- and, but like, in the meantime, I'm being chased by this fat bitch, and she's <laughs> and she's trying to grab me by the waist and body. Sl- she picked me up at some point, and and I slapped her around and tried to. <laughs> get, I think I might have elbowed her a few times to get away, you know. But yeah, I, I mean, naturally. <laughs> so, uh, and she she scratched my face. That was where that thing came from. Yeah, was, yeah. Was from her fucking you, had a, you had a pretty nice uh, scar face marks, going yeah. on. Yeah, I know. She she was clawing at my face. She pulled my bandana off my head. Pulled my hair. Like all, she was just really wanted to take me down, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like she had, like she had a quota. <laughs> she, she was she had a mission, and that yeah. was to get you the fuck yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. So, I, and, but the funny thing was, I outran her. Yeah. Until <laughs> until somebody tripped me. Yeah. Oh man, that's that's the worst part is that somebody tripped that wasn't even security. I, I keep thinking about it in my and like I thought I tripped over somebody. That's yeah. what I was th- and and like the more I think about it, I'm like that doesn't make any sense because I felt like like somebody kicked my leg. You know, that's what it felt like. Mm-hmm. Like I was running smoothly until, <laughs> until, <laughs> until all of a sudden, until all of a sudden I was on the floor, you know, like and you never really think of like register all these things when the, the adrenaline's kicking in and everything. Mm-hmm. So that so but I'm fucking running fast away from these people. And and then when I get tri- I just ate dick, you know, I fucking fell so hard. Just <laughs> and it's all concrete down there. Yeah. And I was jumping over somebody when I got tripped. <laughs> because there was a guy sitting down. Oh man! So when I when I was jumping over him, somebody kicked my foot, tripped me something, and then I just went fucking just head first. Did, into did the you floor. knock over the guy sitting down? No, I went over him. Yeah, <laughs> you cleared him. I cleared. <laughs> I cleared him, but I mean, I, that's what, and then I thought maybe I kicked him on accident, and that's yeah. what I tripped on. But like, I look back, and he was fine, you know. So yeah. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think I think somebody smacked my leg while I was jumping over mm. him. And uh, so gave you a quick <laughs> hook. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know when you when your buddy's walking in, they kick you from the from behind or something. Yeah. And yeah, so I just ate it, man, and hit my elbows on the floor. My glasses fall off my face. Jam my and I jammed my toe so hard on the concrete 
and then got up and still kept running. Well, I, I had I took a beat. This is where I fucked up because I probably could have got away, but I took a beat to think about whether or not I wanted to run back for my glasses. Mm. <laughs> so, oh yeah, that's right. You smashed your yeah, glasses. And so, but they were on the floor, and I stood up, and I was like, "Ah, should I?" Get? And then I just like fuck it. So then I tried running again, and then I, next thing I knew, yeah. I was well. I got restrained by the a security guard, another guy that didn't that <laughs> didn't. Uh, I can't read it. Oh yeah, you're blind. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen more minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, I was restrained by people in the in the crowd and and gotten a headlock by the security <laughs> guard and, <laughs> and then like tossed on the ground again. You know, like after I already fell, a guy this guy throws me in a headlock and throws me on the ground again, and I'm like, all right, <laughs> <laughs> all right, you got me. Yeah. And I'm then he done. pulls me, and then he pulls me up, and that was when I started. Wait, laughing. so what are you doing in the meantime that all this is happening? Thanks, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they, when she goes, she goes up to, I knew she was going to do it eventually, but I was trying to, I was pretty drunk. Um, she, <laughs> as soon as she does it, I see her like grab his belly. So I turn around thinking there's other securities watching what's going on. So I just run in, run into the front and stuff. And I just like hid Which in there. Which is what behind, we did like, <laughs> at the beginning. Like yeah, I just said. I yeah. Just, yeah. I hid behind some like really, really tall guys. And my friends were next, standing right next to us. They didn't even fucking notice that. I what just happened. Notice. They were still <laughs> just talking to each other. Like fucking Vicky and Ryan are still right here next to us. Whatever. So I called them from the pit because they hadn't started yet. And yeah. Megadeth hadn't started yet. It was right before Megadeth. We had to sit through Opeth, and Opeth was boring as fuck. <laughs> yeah, and, then, and, that, and, and I was like, man, Megadeth's next, and I'm super excited. And then yeah. like, this bitch comes up. I'm like, you're not ruining my fun. You're not doing it today. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that had a lot to do with I, it. I, I, yeah, I called my friends. I was just like, Brenda. And I fucking called her. And she's like, what are you doing over there? I was like, just come over here. I was like, I didn't want to fucking go over there. Yeah. I got fucking purple hair. Um, so she comes over, and she's like, well, we'll get him. Don't worry about it. She's like, don't move. Just stay right here. And I fucking stay there, and I'm drunk, and I'm just like, oh, my God, now they're fucking gone. Now something's <laughs> going to happen with them. And I was like, no, I'll just fucking leave and find Ryan, because I, I as automatically assume they're going to kick him out of the entire fucking fest. That's yeah. what I thought. Right? That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Logically, that's what they should have fucking done. Like, they just kicked him out of the fucking pit. That's <laughs> stupid. How fit. fucking stupid are they? Like, no, oh, well, I, I that place, actually, that place, that place is actually really cool they're about really it. They're really lenient like, yeah. about shit. That's, sort of. I mean, man. Because that, uh, it happens a lot. It I'm happens, sure it happens a it lot. It happens so many times. But you know, what yeah. it, you know what I think I had to do with? I think if that, if that chick caught me, Oh, you would have been done. I would have been yeah. out. You would have been out totally. But because I outran her, and another guy caught me. Yeah. And then he, and then he restrained me, and then walked me out, and then I was like, I stopped fighting. Yeah. I was like, all right, yeah, you got me. Yeah. Like, and I just had my arm over my. He had me in a half Nelson. I'm like, okay, <laughs> 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 oh, you got me. Dude. You got me. <laughs> yeah. So I stayed there, and then I, I saw the lights go on for Megadeth, and I was like, okay, I'll just wait one more minute. And then they started playing. And, and then they were awesome. Hangar, yeah. And then they think, were awesome. Yeah. So Hangar 18, I think, was their first one. Yeah, that's what they opened. Right? And yep. then I, and then I fucking melted. And I was like, okay, five more minutes. I stayed there for at least 15 minutes, and then I fucking took off. So. Yeah. Well, that's why. Well, that's what I was telling them. I'm like, oh uh, no! And then that's when you call me. That's it. I'm in the I'm in line, <laughs> going into the venue. Wait, wait, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. I didn't finish what happened. So, the, so then kicked me completely out of the venue. But I walked. I, I, you know. So he walks me out. In yeah. A, in a half Nelson chokehold, you know, and he and then he like pushes me and turns me around and he's like, he's like, you know, I can. Le I'm legally bound to arrest you right now. And I was like, no, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, he was like, where's your ticket? And I'm like. I don't have it. <laughs> and I was like, it's on my girlfriend's phone. And he I'm was, some dude. I snuck in. And he was like, where's your girlfriend? And I'm like, she's in there. She got past you guys, too. <laughs> like, I have one, I swear. She's real. <laughs> and, she, and then he was like, well, where are your tickets at? I'm like, they're for up there. He's like, well, what are you doing down here? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> and he was like, all right, well, I'll let you go. Uh, you know, and I won't kick you out completely, like or arrest yeah. you as long as you promise not to come back. And I was like, dude, you almost choked me out. Like, why would I come back? <laughs> <laughs> you almost killed me right yeah. now. <laughs> and, uh, and like that fall, that spill was the worst. Like it was, a, it was like a skateboarding fall. Yeah, you got so, you got a bruised up arm, a my fucked fucking up knee, toe. Your toe. I thought my toe was broken at that at that <laughs> moment. I know. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. So then that happens, and then I'm in line to get into the fucking venue. I'm about to get searched. <laughs> And you call me, and I'm like, yo, what's up? I just got beat up by security. <laughs> and I was like, what? What the fuck happened? I was in the pit, 
and all of that. <laughs> and I, just, I was like, oh, no wonder. <laughs> it was just like, it, it wasn't even a surprise to me that, like, once you said that you were in the pit, I was like, oh, well, well fuck, obviously. Right, right. <laughs> Like well, I, sh- I should have just had a guessed. That's what I'm saying. Like I had a wristband though. I just hate. <laughs> I know. I- then I asked you. I was like, "How'd you fucking get in? Did you run in?" And you were like, "No, nah, I had a wristband." Not this time. Like <laughs> I got in fine this time. You know. Like, but the funny thing was, I had run in before. Just dodged yeah, security. You, yeah, to get exactly. Down there. And, and that's just, what I thought you did again, but this time you just it just didn't go as planned. It just like <laughs> it, it felt like we, once you were in, you're in. Like I didn't understand. I don't. I never knew that they did that shit. Me know? neither, dude. I, I think because you went in so early, though. I, I think, think that's yeah. why. Well, that's what I said. And that's what I was saying. I was like, we should have waited till <laughs> make it. Waited to make it. Dead. It wasn't that easy though, because they were also they were checking the the wristband and your tickets. Because I but he went in, they kicked what, me out. But this is like, what, you don't have the ticket. Get out. This is what we did though. Because because of that, we walked in with beers, two full oh, beers. Oh yeah, so See, they I, I no, yeah, yeah, they wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so so we went and like that's he, he told me he's like oh they checked he's like let's that's, go get beers that's and really we're like true. fuck so we had two full beers and we just walked down. <laughs> Actually, yeah, one was empty and one was full, so I just looked like my hands were full. But <laughs> then I was walking yeah. down and then they were like, then they stopped me and I just showed him my wrist and they were like okay, yeah. <laughs> so, so we finally fucking caught up and then. <laughs> look at you and you're you're all limp actually actually when you first walked up you looked fine and i was like oh this toe's not broken but 20 minutes later you're fucking limping like a motherfucker dude, dude. It, you it were hurt so, so bad you look like you had a peg leg yeah well because <laughs> it wasn't just i mean it's still not just my knee this is only what three or four days later but it yeah. still fucking hurts and it's just it's not just my toe it's my knee too and that thing blew up like a blimp <laughs> but um so it was just it was just gnarly, and then I had yeah. to, and then I had to walk on it. We had to walk out like a mile and a half to get to because uh, we didn't know where the pickup location oh, was. Oh yeah, and you had to walk a mile and a half to the closest gas to station. the closest gas station. Yeah, on fucked. my busted ass toe, and I'm like I'm fucked. crying and walking the whole time because I'm in just okay. So but I mean, before that, how awesome was Black Sabbath? Before doing oh, having yeah, to do that, oh yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> and like you know, and I had I still had so much adrenaline going through me. That's why I wasn't limping so much when you guys saw yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't until like I started calming down and sobering up, <laughs> and then I was like, oh my god, this, this hurts. fucking hurts. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then had to stand around and sway mm-hmm. because I couldn't put too much pressure on my yeah. toe and watch Sabbath. But Sabbath was flawless. Yeah, dude. I mean, I best show of my life. For y- sure. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's probably cried. the greatest thing. Yeah, I cried. I cried a lot. <laughs> I was about there, but I think I was rocking too hard. Yeah, yeah. I, I cried a lot. No, I was rocking too. Believe me. <laughs> and you were like, ah. Yeah, exactly. Why are you blind? <laughs> I mean, we had, we had seats, so we were pretty close. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we, yeah. We, well, we got up all pretty pretty damn close for the lawn too for for uh, Sabbath. Yeah, we had to walk over people who were sitting we sitting were so on the pissed. fucking lawn, we're just talking shit. You can't even see time. the show. Yeah, what are you doing? We're all drunk. <laughs> Ozzy's right there, motherfucker. We're trying to walk through the crowd and get we're closer, like stand up, and we're tripping around. over people, tripping over people still lying down on the fucking floor. Fuck and them, dude. Yeah. Respect, it's <laughs> yeah, stand up. I know, motherfuckers. This is, this is Black <laughs> this Sabbath. Is, we're at church this right now, goddammit. Right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, so we were right there in front, you know, right right in the fucking seat, dude, and it was it was amazing. I of course I cried. Okay, all right. So before we wrap this up, what the fuck was up with Slipknot's <gasps> Encore? Oh, Thank man. you. What the f- Fuck, worst encore. No, in dude, rock we were walking history. out well, the whole time. We were walking out. I was fucking talking mad shit. Was it was like, horrible. Yeah, we were waiting around. I was like, I'm waiting for something to happen, and then it was over. I was like, That's it. Okay, the f- they played all of Iowa, which was cool. That's that dope. was sick. Was that was great. awesome. Yeah. That, that was, was great. awesome. Not for me. But I've only heard their first. Al- I only heard their first album, and I never heard anything after that. Well, I was. I was great. Really yeah, I was, was great. Yeah. Great I'd say album. The, I'd say this is the first three albums. So yeah. Liminal Verses, which is the third one, is. is meh. What do you mean? That's got like it's one me. It's not nearly as good as Iowa and and the the first album. Yeah, uh, it's uh, Slipknot. Yeah, self self titled. Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> so I thought that was cool because Iowa was like the first. One Dude, of the, but to end one of the with first Iowa though, because Iowa, okay, Iowa the the album has a song on it called Iowa, and it's a slow, it's drawn an outro. out. That's what it was. Yeah, fucking. Is that yeah. what? Is that the last shit that they? That's played? what they yeah. played. 
It's the last song on the album, and that's what they did that's for, what their they did for their encore. Essentially, a long outro I was to their yeah. album. I was like, "Are they mad? Are they pissed off? Did something happen? What the fuck is going on? Like, why?" Are I they mean, doing I get this? playing the playing the album completely, but why not? You you know that that's not Orion, right? You know, like like <laughs> oh, like Orion's a long drawn out <laughs> instrumental, but there's a lot of different there's awesome a, parts yeah, to there's, it. Yeah, there's it's solos, not, it, and it's, it's not just you fucking crying and screaming every now and then. It's not the same fucking. Yeah, the whole fucking time. Exactly. Yeah, doom, do do doom. Yeah, doom, do do. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's ridiculous. And then oh, you know they could have shortened that and played something it's a like, classic. Yeah. Thank oh, you. Yes. yes, that's what I was hoping for. I was I'm like, not saying, fuck. I'm not saying. I don't was like, do fuck, it. dude. Iowa, and then fight like maybe Duality or Wait and Bleed. Duality. That's gonna be Iowa fucking sad. awesome. Yeah, Duality would have been. Amazing. And I was waiting. I I've was never, waiting and waiting. If and they, they played Duali- Duality, Duality is such a good fucking metal dude, it's anthem. A, it's the greatest song I've ever seen played live. Oh, it's so. Fucking it's such good. a great song, dude. It's. Dude. And I've heard you talk about that. That's why I was so dude, disappointed yeah, it, when like, I saw them. And just not the, even the aunt, the. Uh, it gives me chills just thinking about it. I remember that song so fucking good. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, when we when we saw him at uh, Mayhem, you yeah, know, that was the song where I was like, dude, these guys are yeah. fucking great. Yeah, so good. It was duality, and uh, oh man, the fact that they they just stopped and we're like, thank you, good night. Like, what? I know, yeah, that's it. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? And from hearing you guys talking about how awesome they are live, and this is the first time I'm seeing li- them live, I'm expecting some sick ass pyrotechnics. I'm expecting well, all this shit. A, they did a lot of cool stuff. There like, was they, had no they had no pyrotechnics. They had no pyrotechnics. It was just they, they showed, showed an abortion. They <laughs> <laughs> they sh- yeah, they showed an abortion, an open heart surgery, some chick possessed, and fucking. That's awesome. And then for all of fucking for all of Iowa, they had that stupid sex doll mask. Yeah, and the eyes. Dude, it was weird and not what I wanted to I, end yeah. on. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's a. I weird wanted to go back to the campsite and being like, "Fuck yeah, slip." It was not. a weird choice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I to was come back, I was yeah, sad. Dude. And then it was like, "All right, now fest is over. I guess I'm just gonna go to sleep." I know, like, it's such yeah, a dude. bad note to go down on. Yeah, you know? it was. It was such a disappointment. Real, so big especially disappointment. after like Amon and Marth killed it so dude, hard. They did. Slayer, and fucking Slayer, Slayer. Oh man, yeah. that was the first time I've seen Slayer too. They're fucking. Badass, dude. Slayer, I just watched. Dude, I wanted Slayer, to be in yeah. the. I wanted to be on the lawn watching Slayer because I knew we had seats. I didn't. I didn't want to be on our seats. I wanted to actually be on the lawn, actually seeing Nazis beat the shit out of people. <laughs> 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 seeing Nazis curb stomp by everybody. No, you mean Mexicans beat the shit out of Nazis? Nazis, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's usually how it ends up. You were in there for the Slayer pit, Vicky. Huh? You. Did no? you go in for a second? Yeah, no, she didn't. No, she didn't leave me. I had I had a cane. You had a cane. Yeah, and I, I, limp, I limped my way up the hill and got up there from a Mon Amarth. I I could not get out of bed that morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we didn't get there till yeah. like six o'clock. But you made it. We're so proud of you. The I know, cane and everything. Yeah. Thanks to Jack Daniels and Tylenol. <laughs> 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 Fuck yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so <laughs> wrap it up. Three more minutes. Three more minutes. Yeah. Uh, what are we gonna talk about for three minutes? Uh, the shitty sound, dude. That that, uh, that was really pissed me off because sucks. Slayer. Shitty sound. Oh, yeah, oh, dude. Like when Anthrax was on. When Anthrax was on. Oh well, no. When I went into the Slayer pit, dude, it was the same thing for Anthrax. Oh well, you said that one of the speakers or two of the speakers were all, out. No, all of the speakers were out. All huh. of them. You said that a couple of them kicked on for Amon and Marth. Well, I said for, well, no, well, no for anthrax. actually for anthrax. Well, we were yeah. in the beer line for anthrax. They kicked one of them, on. yeah, one really of them loud. kicked on. No, that wasn't the case for Slayer. All of them were off. Really? Yeah, I could all hear of them. Fine, where I was at, where we well, were. Well, because we were right in front of the uh, the third row of speakers. Oh, I'm talking right. about the second row. Oh, of speakers. you're talking about down there? Yeah, oh, the second okay, row right. of speakers that is mainly for the front lawn. Yeah, were out. They were out, dude. And that's why I believe the reason why the Slayer pit wasn't as fucking intense as it always is, Cause dude. Because you couldn't fucking, you couldn't fucking hear it. Yeah. Because uh, because I read, yeah, I went in for Angel of Death, dude. I went around. I was like, dude, there's nobody fucking in here. Yeah. yeah. Like usually this song, dude. Usually for that for Angel of Death, their last song, they it is fucking packed, just mayhem. It yeah. is deadly. It's 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 scary. But I went in there and I was like, dude, this fucking sucks like i feel like a bitch i'm gonna get the fuck out like i don't want to be in here <laughs> <You're> like, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, i could have handled that shit <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> yeah Th- that's that, that why it was so disappointing dude i hate that's why i, I hate watching shows at the staple center yeah because the sound just doesn't travel good enough mm-hmm. if you have cheap seats you're fucked yeah you can't, you can't you can hear the people talking next to you exactly <laughs> which i i i don't want to hear anybody at a concert no yeah it's fucked up dude 
That's why when we well when we saw Metallica at the Forum, that was cool because the, even the the cheap seats had. Uh, oh well, that place is built to hold in sound. Yeah, yeah. S- Staples Center just has horrible acoustics. But it, it was so bad, and apparently it was the same for Slipknot too. Oh really? Yeah, even for them. Maybe which, I mean maybe that that's why maybe they were just mad. They were just like we're just gonna end off. Probably, dude. That's what we were thinking. Like yeah. the sound was going too bad. They were just like we'll just do this shit and. For twenty the, minutes, yeah. and then we'll yeah, get the I fuck out of here. They were really pissed or just really high. They were probably no. They were probably pissed because for yeah. Uh, but still, and even that, like uh, Black Sabbath was fucking great. Like their sound and everything from everywhere. Yeah, you know, just like, everything was because fucked they up pay the people day. enough to fucking well, yeah. take care of their sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, especially if it's their last show in California. They were having sound problems that whole time, though. Even when we were watching, yeah. o- we were watching Opeth. Yeah, they the, like the drummer couldn't hear anything. That he played that whole set without without any monitors, which is amazing. because yeah. <laughs> without being able to hear, that fucking sucks. Yeah, and yeah, I I, I don't know that. That kind of killed the whole Not Fest experience, but Ozfest fucking ruled. Yeah, Ozfest blew Not Fest out yeah. of the water. Greatest, great, greatest fucking show I've ever. Great stuff. Yeah, great, great fucking stuff. All um, right. well, I guess I'll, I'll I'll cut it right here, but I'm gonna end on a on a song. Okay. Well, <coughs> uh, anybody listening can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Ryan P Demarest. Yeah. A comedian Randy. <laughs> comedian Randy. Team Randy dot com. And uh, my Misfits cover band will be playing on, at, on Friday Ooh. at Chain Reaction. Fuck and you yeah. actually just had a show, too, with uh, Brian. What's his name? Brian. Brian Callen. Yeah, Brian, Brian Callen. Callen. The yeah. guy from, uh, he's been on How I Met Your Mother. Motherfucking Hangover. Bilson. <laughs> and yeah. Hangover. Yeah. What do you do? Go. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go with some Black Sabbath. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I think I. I mean, I. I you should end on duality, or what do you plan? I should play duality, yeah. huh? I'll, fall, I'll probably play duality. Should have been there on happy ending. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what not should should have been. <laughs> How it should have ended. Yeah, <laughs> rat talk edition. Exactly. Right. Thanks for having me on, babe. Well, thank you guys for coming on. Thanks and, for having uh, me on, babe. And filling me, <laughs> filling the filling the space and everything. I'm probably gonna have a not fest part two next week. Uh, talk with, with, with all the campers with and the everything. Not, with, with the not with the not, not, 10. not ten members of the not ten. If you don't know who the <laughs> not ten are, uh, listen to the episode. <laughs> I feel so left out. <laughs> I know, me too. I'm sorry. You just weren't that down i guess <laughs> what? i'm not down to camp with you fucking animals yeah I am. I dude that that first year was fucking madness let me tell you that it was it was fucking crazy i just know that i'm gonna i'm gonna wind up i'm gonna be the guy that's supposed to be like i'm the older one should be responsible but i'll be the one that winds up in fucking handcuffs somewhere probably <laughs> 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 probably yeah sounds about right yep <coughs> you know I could hang. I was the first female fucking wizard. Oh, yeah. You were the free, first female wizard. I made wizard stuff. That yeah. was Whatever. my goal, and I met it. Should Whatever you, shouldn't you tell say. Pe- shouldn't tell people you're a wizard, because then they'll take that as, like, wizard sleeve. <laughs> 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 Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to end it the way Slipknot should have ended it, with motherfucking duality. So... Thank you guys for listening to Rat Talk. You can always catch me on iTunes and SoundCloud. Follow me on uh, Instagram, Rat underscore Talk. Twitter, at Rat Talk. And always look me up on Facebook. Everybody. Listen to Humpcast. And listen to Humpcast, yeah. Thank you very much, guys, for coming in and uh, making this episode an- another Thanks, fun Vicky. one. Thanks, Vicky. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you, Amanda. Aww. Thanks, Ryan. <clears throat> love you guys, and I love music, so here's Slipknot. Made of all the things I have to take.